pool noobs. Justin here again and uh, in this video I'm actually going to walk you through how to replace the shaft seal. So now I'm in the process of, of helping a buddy replace the pool motor. Now while we're doing that we figured this is what a better time than actually uh, when we're going to be in the innards to uh, replace the shaft seal. Now the shaft seal actually comes in two pieces. Um, and I'll get a close up here. One piece is going to be a, a little spring guided thing that's going to be located on the back of your impeller. The other thing is going to be a little miniature threaded piece that um, goes in this portion of the uh, pool housing assembly. So we got a brand new shaft seal here. I'm not going to take it out of the box yet because um, you're going to need to touch this only using gloves. I got rubber gloves on. I'll get it here. Um, let me get my close ups here first. Um, shaft seal before we begin. Um, Typically, uh, experts claim, experts probably being the guys who sell these shaft seals, uh, say you need to replace these about every two to three years. It's not really a quick and easy replacement here. It's a little bit labor intensive. Some people just bring theirs into a shop. However, I think this can be done pretty easily um, other than just you're going to have to remove it anyway to take it into a, into, a pool, into a pool maintenance store. So I recommend you do this yourself. However, I don't necessarily recommend a two or three year interval time frame. The kind of big telltale sign is you see little water driplets, um, droplets coming down from the bottom of your uh, pool pump. That's usually a good sign that your shaft, shaft seal needs replacing. Here I've got my impeller and on that you're going to see the uh, spring loaded uh, portion of the shaft seal. Now on that one what you're going to see me do is I'm literally just going to pull it off. It may take a little bit of force. Looks like this thing's got a little rust on it. Um, and then uh, and then we'll put the other portion right on top of it by sliding it in. Um, the second portion, I don't know if you can really see too well, but right in here, let me flip it over, you can see it a little bit better. This portion here, the little threaded piece in here, that's the second half of the shaft seal. Now in order to get this out, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little screwdriver, flathead to the back, hit the back end and be able to pop it out. Note, really important here, before you take these off, note the orientation that the current ones are currently on. So therefore, you don't screw it up and put it on backwards. Alright, um, so I'm going to remove these two off. So, so I've noticed here the spring is towards the lower half of the impeller. Oh, that actually pulled off real easily. So, and I'm just going to leave it in the same orientation next to it, just so I have something to, to kind of look at. The other portion of the shaft seal here, like I said, I'm really going to take a flathead screwdriver here, see if I can't set it up in the back here, and just hit it with the back of my hand. And now this portion here, and remember we took the picture of the uh, white portion was actually facing upwards. Alright, that was how easy it was just to remove it from the existing stuff. You can imagine it's got to be pretty simple, right, to put it back on. Well, hopefully so. But before I get the other one out of the box, I need to put the rubber gloves on. Alrighty, I got my rubber gloves on and I've got the new shaft seal pieces out here. So, first of all, we'll just start with the uh, easy threaded one here. That should be stuff. Remember where the white portion was facing up? All I got to do is just kind of sit that in there. A little bit of uh, just a little bit of muscle here and um, looks like we're good to go. So, just kind of press it in firmly, make sure it's all seated correctly. Can't seem to press any harder, so that looks like that one's uh, been replaced and good to go. Now we'll get on this portion. Now, before I begin, the spring portion's at the bottom. I'm going to have to slide it on. Now, sometimes this thing doesn't naturally uh, slide on correctly. You're going to, your natural, your natural instinct is to use lubricant. Do not use lubricant. Um, if anything, you could try to rub some water on the inside here as well as this, but that's it. Um, you know, don't especially don't use any of the same old ring lubricant, uh, the silicone-based stuff that you're going to do, because that could cause the stuff to slide off, and and you're going to have to be replacing this sooner than you had hoped. So probably more sooner than the two to three years. So, anyways, um, now that I've got on here, similar stuff, no love. A little bit of muscle. So, took a little bit of muscle, but I was able to get it on. Anyways, that is replacing the shaft seals. Like I said, not hard to pay some experts. Really, the pain in the butt is just getting to this portion, which 
is really just getting it off the assembly, which I said, if you're going to take it into a store, you're going to end up doing that anyway. So if you've done that part, this portion is a breeze. Just follow these safety, just follow these brief tips that I left here about making sure you use the gloves, and making sure you, you get the orientation correctly on there when you put them on, and you're going to be just fine to do it yourself. So once again, thanks for watching. I'm going to post a link to a shaft seal if you need to buy a new one. The thing too is I'll send a, I'll put a link to uh, one of my pool pump repair series that shows you how to secure the shaft seal and stuff, or secure the shaft on the actual pull pump motor so you can remove this impeller. And I'll try to put a link to that direct, um, to the applicable timeline in that video so you can just jump right to it. Um, other than that, thanks for watching Pool Noob again and uh, see you at the next one.